everyone. I'm Kimberly Ray with Marine Conservation Network. And hi to all the followers and all the friends on our Instagram and all the other pages. Well, we made it. We said we we're going to go global, and we did. We're here in Beijing, China, at the zoo and the aquarium. It is phenomenal. There's plenty to see, things that you wouldn't only see in the States, but oh my gosh, it's crowded, so prepare yourself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have my cameraman pan around a little bit and show you exactly how big it is. But we're going to start off to right above me. Right above me, you have sailfish. They've got two displays of that. We've got all kinds of fish and other marine mammals hanging from the ceiling. Over here to my left, we have a whale shark. And there's a lot of mini aquariums, a lot of big aquariums. And as you can see, there are thousands of people here back to back, shoulder to shoulder. But it's an awesome place. Unfortunately, we're going to have to make this a two-parter film because it's so big, we just don't have the capabilities at the moment. But we've seen everything from sturgeons to gars to all kinds of fish, even koi, all kinds that you would never see normally in the States. Hopefully, we're going to see some more. I'm going to have my cameraman follow me a little bit, and we're going to see what we can find. Message me and let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, if I can answer them, I'll be more than willing to do it. Again, this is Kimberly Ray with the Marine Conservation Network, and remember, we're here to make oceans a difference. Well, we decided to make one more stop before we leave. This is my favorite spot, the belugas. I'm hoping to get a couple of them over my shoulder. And the belugas are amazing animals. Their necks can actually are flexible just like ours. They're very communicative. They're very smooth. They're like ballerinas in the, in the ocean. And we'll see if we can get one of them to come over here pretty soon. You guys can get a good look at these things. They live over in the Arctic and Alaska, over in those waters, and they're the cold waters. This is one of my favorite parts. Anything cetacean, that's what I focus on. But you know we do everything to do with marine conservation. And these are one of the animals that we're trying to conserve and protect. There are many others out there. There's other whales and other cetaceans. But these guys are just beautiful. If you can zoom in on them, I'll have my cameraman zoom in on them so we can get them to come over here. They're very agile. They're awesome, awesome animals. Now on the top of their head, you see like a bump that more, looks more like a big rock. It's actually a melon. That's how they do their, their echolocation and their sonars, how they find their food, their surroundings and where they're going. And then they, on top of that is a blowhole and that's how they communicate with each other along with breathing. You can sometimes in the wild find them in pods of thousands of them, but sometimes there's only a few of them together. These animals are beautiful and should definitely be out in the open ocean, but we are doing our best to conserve and to teach everybody. And that's what these are here for. I know a lot of people are against it, but unfortunately, this is only one way that a lot of people are going to be able to learn and connect with them, and that's what we're here to do. Marine Conservation Network, we're here to connect. So stay tuned. As much as we can, we'll squeeze in. But remember, we're making oceans a difference, so you got to check us out.